Publisher has a page design tab. In this tab, you'll find how to change your margins, change the orientation, change the page size, use preset page sizes, locate the guides, and change your backgrounds. To adjust your document margins, select Page Design, then find the Page Setup group. Here, select the Margins drop-down. You can set from some preset margins, or you can go Custom Margins. This will bring up a new window, where you can type in the margins you want. To change your page orientation, find the Page Setup group in the Page Design tab, select the drop-down, and then choose between portrait and landscape. Common page sizes include A3, A4, and A5. To change the page size, select size, and then select your option. Sometimes you might be making things like a folded document including a booklet, a greeting card, or an invitation. make these documents, you can use preset page sizes. To find this option, select the Page Design tab, find the Size drop-down, and then select the More Preset Page Sizes right at the bottom of the list. This will bring up a new window where you can select a page size. To find booklets, simply click the Booklets tab. The most common one that you'll come across is the half A4 booklet. This is simply an A4 page put into landscape folded in half. To make a folded greeting card or invitation, select the greeting card folder. The most common ones that you'll find is the half A4 side fold or half A4 top fold. This is simply an A4 page folded in half. You might also find a quarter fold, which will be very similar, just smaller. You might be designing something like a brochure, where you have three distinct sections in different pages. To highlight where each section should be, you can use the guide option. To do this, select the page design group and then select the guides drop down. If you're making a brochure, you would select the three columns with heading and the built-in ruler guides. Here you can see very clearly where your three pages will be and their margins. Note that you can also adjust the guides. So hover your mouse over one of the lines and then drag and hold. This can be useful if you're wanting to lay out other elements in your documents. You can make sure they're all in line with each other. In the page design group, you'll also find the background. To access this, simply select the background drop down. You'll have the choice between no backgrounds, a solid background, or a gradient background. You can also select more backgrounds. This will bring up a new window where you can go through different types of fills including pattern, picture, and texture. Have a play around with these options on your documents.